man, the economy sucks. The Sea of Thieves economy, that is. Sure, I'll never be able to own a home in real life, but at least I'm rich in Sea of Thieves, right? Or am I? What is my gold worth? Rare messed up, and now I need to talk to you about inflation. What happened is that world events got easier. Ridiculously easier. It used to take me an hour to solo a skull fort, and now I can do a Fort of Fortune solo in five minutes. Combine the world event nerfs with the new emissary system, and you're left with way too much gold. The issue is that there isn't enough that I want to buy. The only good cosmetics cost ancient coins, and sadly I can't convert my trillion doubloons into ancient coins. What I'm left with is millions of gold and absolutely nothing that I want to spend it on. New players often dislike that there's no meaningful progression in Sea of Thieves. When I try to convince my friends to play, they're instantly turned off by how meaningless the cosmetic rewards are. Why spend hours grinding for cosmetics that look worse than the ones anyone can purchase from the store? Sea of Thieves needs some sense of progression, and I think progression could give us something to spend gold on. These upgrades don't have to be something insanely OP, but here are my ideas for progression. Upgrade the front of your ship to not take damage when ramming. Upgrade your crow's nest to make climbing 10% faster. Upgrade your spyglass to have a higher zoom option. Upgrade your blunderbuss ammo reserve to 6 shots instead of 5. Make the sniper of 5 meters extra range. Make switching to your pistol 10% faster. Make your movement speed with the sword 5% faster. Upgrade cooked meat to regen 30 health instead of 25. Or upgrade the anchor to raise 10% faster. Each of these options could cost 100,000 gold. This would make the grind feel much more rewarding than any cosmetic could. Yet simultaneously, this wouldn't make PvP too unbalanced. But there's still an even larger elephant in the room. And this is that the loot and gold are tricky issues for Sea of Thieves to address, because they want us to pay them real money for cosmetics. In fact, the cosmetics we purchase in the game are directly competing with Rare's item shop. Our fake gold is in direct competition with our real money that Rare wants us to spend. This undeniably creates a conflict of interest for the developers. And this is why I think the solution is to give loot alternative forms of value. And if loot is only going to be worth gold, then Rare should give us something more meaningful to spend it on, like progression. But the biggest issue isn't even with gold as much as it is with the loot itself. I want to talk about how the loot system is fundamentally flawed. The real question is why did Rare pick quantity over quality for loot? Why do world events drop 50 worthless items instead of just one valuable treasure? This is especially bad for a pirate game where the goal is to rob other people in your server. Rare has essentially made it so you're either stealing one 100 worthless items, or you aren't stealing anything. You're either sinking and completely killing your enemy, or you aren't stealing anything. It kills the potential of PvP in this game. However, I should note that Rare listened to feedback on this and has begun making changes in the right direction. Specifically, the Chest of Fortune has single-handedly saved open-world PvP. For the first time in years, players feel like they actually have a meaningful loot item to fight over. It's also worth noting the new world event coming in Season 10, which I hope will answer my concerns in this video. And I hope that it will actually be worth something, whether that's gold or utility as a PvP weapon. I appreciated that the Chest of Fortune had value in cosmetic rewards, but that still didn't make up for the chest only being worth 20,000 gold. This is where the game's economy really screws up. Even the rarest loot items in the game are still relatively barely worth anything. But I understand that if Rare makes a chest of fortune worth 100,000 gold, then it will only further contribute to the game's poor economy. This is why I think Rare was on the right track with the Chest of Fortune, as far as having cosmetic rewards be the major value of Rare loot. I also think they're on the right track with giving PvP utility as the value of Rare loot. I'm excited to see how good the Skull of Siren Song will be, and I hope it doesn't suck like the Ashen Wind Skull does. I think this new world event could be the best PvP addition to the game that Rare has ever made. I absolutely love the idea of gaining an OP weapon as a reward. You have to admit that this would be more fun than simply selling the chest for gold. It's so anticlimactic selling a chest of fortune for only 20,000 gold, especially when I would much rather unlock the chest and open it to find something like 
a magic pistol that can shoot holes in ships. Whether it's monetary value, cosmetic unlocks, or PvP utility, Rare needs to make loot feel more valuable. They also need to make there be less loot in general. I think the only loot should be valuable loot, although I totally understand that it looks cool to see your ship stack completely covered in chests. But I think it's both more meaningful and better for PvP if you only have one or two super valuable items on your ship, and you actually need to protect them individually. We also need to talk about how less loot makes the game more convenient. New players will never know the pain of OG Sea of Thieves. It used to take an hour to handload everything onto your ship without a harpoon and then an hour to offload everything by hand. Rare has finally made speed improvements like harpooning, rowboats, and quick selling on captain ships, but even now collecting a lot of loot often just feels like a chore. And gaming isn't supposed to feel like a chore. Being a pirate shouldn't make me feel like I'm a delivery driver. And this is why I'm often tempted just to skip grabbing the less valuable loot. I'm viewing everything as a time commitment. Rare has two solutions. Number one is to make loot lower in quantity, but higher in quality. Option two is for Rare to make the transportation and selling of loot feel less like a chore. It blows my mind that two years after release, I still can't carry a skull in each hand. It blows my mind that I still don't have the option to bulk sell all my loot, even when it's literally a foot away from the sovereign NPC. Loot is undeniably still a nightmare in Sea of Thieves, but I really hope season 10 is a step in the right direction. Oh, hey there. So. You're thinking about subscribing, huh? Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Really, really helps, and I, I, I don't have any money, so please subscribe.